Hey guys! So, as you can tell by the title of this video, I am going to be doing another Bob Ross painting. I've done this before. I will post the link to it up in one, whichever corner. I think this one? That one seems right. I'll post it up in this corner. I did that one on a tiny wooden canvas with acrylic paint, so it was a little bit different than doing it on a bigger canvas with oil paint. I have this canvas here. Obviously, it's not as big as the canvases that Bob usually uses, but it's what I have. I thought I had something bigger, but I don't, and I wanna do it right now because I'm impatient and I don't wanna go over to the store and get another canvas. This is actually probably gonna be better for me, really, because uh, I don't have like really big brushes, so it'll probably be easier for me to paint on this. I actually decided to do this because um, we're gonna be going to the beach this weekend. I'm so excited. Um, we do like an annual beach trip with our friends. Gremlin, and Gremlin's crying. He's crying to get out right now and earlier he was crying to get in, so. Um, and I'm not gonna leave the door open because Uni will come in here and walk all over my paints just like Kermit did to Jenna Marbles paints. Anyway, I wanted to do something beachy I think, I don't think it was last year, I think it was a couple years ago. I did a painting of one of the photos that I took of our a previous beach trip. So I was gonna do something similar and then I decided why not follow a Bob Ross tutorial on painting a beach because he has quite a few of those and they always look really beautiful. I'm really nervous about painting waves, like crashing waves. I have never done it before, I don't think. In the other painting I mentioned, it was just like calm water, so it was basically just like straight lines. But anyway, I thought it would be kind of fun to try to do one of these paintings. I'm kind of nervous. We'll see how it turns out. So yeah. Um, normally he starts with the liquid white, but in a lot of his beach ones, it seems like he starts with a darker base. So I'm going to watch to see what he does before I do anything to the canvas so <sighs> here we go okay he said that he covered it with contact paper um, in a shell shape which I don't think I'm gonna do a shell shape because I don't know this canvas is already kind of small so I don't want to do anything too like frilly around the edges to be too detailed um, I might just do a circle so yeah he did that and then he painted the top with gray gesso and the bottom with um, black gesso, which I don't have, but I do have black craft paint. So I'm gonna paint it with black craft paint instead. Um, and then the top, I do have white gesso, so I'll just mix some of that black with the white gesso to make gray. Are you freaking serious? This contact paper is not sticking. Okay. I don't know what the heck Bob does, but this contact paper is not sticking. <gasps> wow, 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 wow. This is very stressful. Painting is supposed to be fun and good. Okay. It's not sticking the best. But I'm going to go right ahead to the gesso and hope that that makes it stick. I have black craft paint. Oh shit, it's metallic. You know what? Whatever, I'm gonna use it. I'm angry now. <laughs> I'm just gonna freaking use it. So I have this metallic black. So he did half black, half gray. I'm going to <clears throat> mask it off already so that I can keep, keep it crisp. Damn it. Even my tape doesn't want to work right. 
Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. So I guess I'm just gonna finish like prepping the canvas because So this just happened when I was trying to freaking uh, remove the horizon tape. So I think that I'm just going to paint the whole freaking thing because this contact tape isn't working. I don't know what the heck Bob freaking does to make it work, but anyway, what I will do is tape around edges so that the edges stay nice and clean I probably have so much footage of me putzing around with that contact paper but like probably almost all of it is going to be edited out just because I'm not gonna end up doing it <laughs> which is kind of annoying because I spent probably like an hour trying to get that to work. So now back to painting. So yeah, I'm just gonna skip to the end of prep. Okay, we're back. <laughs> As you can see, I painted gesso all over it. Screw the contact paper thing. I have a glass of rosé and a palette ready to go. This is glass. It's actually a cutting board that I painted the back of it. The back is like textured. I painted it white so that it gives a nice like neutral base and they're super easy to clean. You just get a little paint scraper like this. Uh, usually this has a blade in it and then you can just scrape it up and it comes off super easy. I've had this since college. My professor suggested um, doing a glass cutting board, specifically a cutting board because it's tempered glass, which means it won't break as easily. So yeah. He mentions covering the canvas with a thin layer of liquid clear, which I don't have that. Um, I don't even really know what it is. You can buy Bob Ross brand liquid clear I know that his liquid white that he uses is just a mixture of titanium white and linseed oil to make it thinner. What I'm going to use is this, uh, Neo Megilp. <laughs> I don't know that's how you pronounce it. This is just something that you can mix in with your paint to make it more, uh, spreadable, I guess, less thick. I don't think that it really affects drying too much. I also have a bunch of liquid, but that makes oil paints dry really fast. Usually I use that, I just kind of mix it in with my paints as I'm painting and it makes it take only like a day or two to dry depending on how much you mix in. So I didn't want to use that just in case, you know, I needed this to be workable for a little bit longer. So I'm going to use this because as far as I know, I don't think it affects the drying time. I might be wrong, let me know down below. I don't really use this stuff that much. Actually, I don't even know if it's still good. I mean, I've had this I think since college. <laughs> if it turns this thing yellow or discolors it or whatever, then I don't know. That would suck, but I could just repaint this canvas anyway. So I'm just gonna paint this on just to make it easier. I'm just gonna hold it flat like this and paint it on. <laughs> Blue, green, just, just and put a little then... color red on there, and right at the very bottom, a little bit of Van Dyke brown. That's all. Okay, I don't have Thalo green. I have Terra Vert green, or whatever it's called. Um, so hopefully that works. Okay, so blue, and then I'll dip into the green. So now the brown. All right, there we go. Just like so. I like using this gray and blue. Okay. My yellows are wrong. I think I only have one of the right ones, so 
I think I'm using um, cadmium yellow hue. Just to kind of get it to match his yellow, I'm going to mix it with some cadmium lemon. I think that'll, I think that matches more. White and yellow liquor. Shine and sparkle. Right. Okay. I need to pause. He's being too fast. Ah, oh, what am I doing? Blend, blend. This has turned into a drink and draw or sip and paint or whatever the heck those things are called. <sighs> okay, let's just continue on. Oh shoot, I don't have that color. I read that that crimson is kind of a purpley red color. So just now I just mixed in a tiny bit of the thalo blue into my red to like paint up here. Okay, sorry about that guys. Camera died. Hopefully this is still in focus. Okay, thalo blue. I'm also not going to beat the devil out of my brush because this isn't really like <clears throat> a good space to do that. So I'm just gonna very gently clean my brushes. See, he knows. I don't wanna do that in this room just yet. Since I'm not beating the devil out of my brush, it's gonna take me longer to clean this out. And I think he's just going back over it to make it to like blur it out. So I'm just gonna soften it up. This from crimson, proportionately much more crimson than blue. I want this to be sort of to the reddish side of lavender, knife, whatever we got. Okay, he said a fan brush. This is my only fan brush, it's not the best. Actually, it probably needs to be cleaned. But I'm gonna try it anyway. I don't think it's gonna work that well. <laughs> See? My brush is flaring out and like separating, like uh, not good. So we'll see if I can make it work. This brush sucks. I think technically it's a watercolor brush. It's not really made for oils, which is why it sucks, but it's my only fan brush. I should have just done a different kind of brush. It's also, you probably see me like weirdly like looking like this. There's a glare on this. So I can't really see that great. Okay, I guess that's all right. Let's see what he does next. So then he's pulling this off. Nice. Oh, can you take a little white, a little bit of that? <sighs> this 
This is the part where I was nervous. Skies are fine. Waves. Come back this way. Oh, I'm so scared. Just my foot right there. Crash over. Come back this way. Helps to make little little sounds like you're at the ocean. Now, this doesn't make any sense. Like you're oh, right God. Right here is going to crash over. Okay. okay. Does that make sense? Now? I, I so. guess. And maybe back in here. Okay, I need to switch brushes. This is not working. I need a thin one. <laughs> this looks so bad. Let me see if I can fix this. How did he make his look so nice? Bob! Okay, and I lost a lot of the like shadow that he was saying to keep. So I'm gonna try to scrape it away a little bit with a palette knife. It should work in theory. And then I can try to redo that. It's working a little bit. I think it would maybe work better if I actually took a brush with some turpentine on it. See, and then I will take a little bit of tissue and hopefully wipe it away. I can at least like try to work that wave to be correct again. So I'm just trying to blur it out so that it looks like mist. See, and then right here it comes, it's supposed to come down. So I'll probably do another thing where I try to make it shaded right there again. Okay, I'm thinking that that's looking better, especially if you consider a rock right here that it's crashing into. Um, I want to fix that part. Right here, I need you to go away. I'm ruining this right now. Okay. Now I'm gonna try to fix that again really quick. Okay, I don't know if I really did anything good. I feel like I didn't. I'm just gonna go rogue for a second. Haha, -ha. okay, that looks better. <laughs> I have a little bit of Payne's gray right there. Anyway, let's get back to his rock that he painted. Here, a big old stone. Right there, where all this is crashing and churning and coming in right. Like it, like it, like it. Okay, sorry for covering the thing I can't see because of the glare. Bright red. It doesn't matter. Paint thinner on it. Bright red. 
red with paint thinner on it. Okay. You need to chill, Bob. Not as fast as you. Why there's a lot going on in there? Here, and there's some reflections in there. Give me a second. I gotta clean my brush. So pull it straight down, and then go across. That's all we gotta do. What? Where the water lies. Okay, Bob. Sorry if I'm in the way. <laughs> Trying to see what the heck I'm doing. I feel like this part, it'd be helpful if like, you just pull up like, photos of waves and stuff. Cause like, if you don't know what they look like, like what the like, lines and foaminess looks like, then it's not gonna look good. Like, his looks great. Mine, maybe I need to pull this down more. I don't think I started it low enough. Maybe I can try to pull that down more. I'm gonna do that super fun thing of just swiping this paint away. Cause it looks like shit. I feel like that's part of the fun of oil paints is that they're so workable that you can just do shit like this. Um, all right, I'm gonna try to blend that back out again. So I wish I had more darkness here. I might just put a little bit of Payne's gray. Maybe a little bit of thalo blue right here. Now I'm gonna try to fix the beach because I kind of blended a little too far down there. I don't really know uh, what's going on here. Maybe I'll just put another rock. Hide my sins with the rock. I don't understand how he makes it look so good. I was liking this until I got to this freaking wave. I mean, I kind of figured it was going to be like that because... I mean, that's the whole reason why I was nervous to do this one to begin with. I just spent so long trying to fix that. 
I could have just watched like two more seconds of this video. I think I want to blend this out a little bit. Oh shit! No! I should have just left it alone. So that's how it's turned out. I'm still obviously working on mine. Just trying to finish this last tree. Oh shit. <laughs> oh god, what did I do? That one's really blowing away in the wind, man. Without his guidance, I'm going crazy. Okay. It's not the best. I think I'm gonna add another rock right here just cuz I think that'll help maybe put a happy rock right here for the waves to be crashing into there so there's my second Bob Ross attempt I think my first one was a lot better than this I mean I kind of like the wave looks okay I feel like it looks okay like from my view like looking at it like this but whenever I took it off and like was looking at it straight on it did not look so good <laughs> I guess I can take my tape off of the edges. My hands are so dirty, I feel like I'm gonna get paint all over the edge. Ugh. So, there we go. <laughs> I'm not super happy with it. I mean, it might've helped if I had the right kind of fan brush. Maybe. But yeah. If you guys liked this video, then please leave a like. Um, let me know what you think about this piece. There were many fails along the way, but I got some kind of beach going on. I mean, I had fun working on this. The beginning was a little bit stressful and annoying just because of the contact paper, but yeah, it's good practice. Maybe I'll come back to it later and like it <laughs> or I'll just sand it down and re -gesso it and paint something else on it. Let me know what you guys think down below how it turned out if you liked this kind of format for like an art video. I haven't really done any like this ever in a while. I don't know. Usually I don't show my face in my art videos. So yeah if you liked it please leave a like and subscribe 
hit that notification bell, all that good stuff. I do art videos on Tuesdays and DIY videos on Thursdays. Thank you guys for coming by and watching me stumble through this painting and I'll see you guys later this week.